Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be carving up a jack-o'-lantern. Halloween's right around the corner. We gotta get these things knocked out so we can get them out for sale or get them on our front porch. Whatever you choose to do. Hope you stick around. All right guys, like I said, today we're gonna carve up a jack-o'-lantern. Last week, or within the last couple videos, I did a how to carve a pumpkin. Now that was a quick pumpkin carving, so you guys can go there. I'll put a link up here, or it's here. I always forget what side. That's gonna pop up. You guys can click that, you can go back to that video. Once this video posts, I'll put it at the end of that video. And so once you've watched it, it'll bring you back here, and you guys can watch how to carve a jack-o'-lantern. So today, you're gonna need a few tools. You're gonna need your safety gear first. Then you're gonna need a couple chainsaws. I'm gonna be using my MS250 with a thin kerf bar. It's the bar off the 170. Showed it in a video, popping up here if you guys wanna check it out. I'm also gonna be running my MS170 with a dime tip bar, and I might be running the 193. All gas saws today. Some other things you're gonna need are a die grinder with your flame bit from Sabretooth, and an angle grinder with like 80 grit on there you know like a flat disc or something I'm also gonna be possibly using a round bit I think it's a 5 8 round bit from Sabretooth and I'll also be using a flap sander from Sandoflex everything I'm talking about here minus the chainsaws I'll have links to down in the description below those links are through Amazon you guys make purchases help support my channel the first thing we got to do is get a log get your saws warmed up gassed up ready to go I got a log right here you guys can only see the top at the moment in my jaw horse. Seems to be the safest way to carve. Oh yeah, you'll need a jaw horse. Find the link below. This log is probably eh, about nine to 10 in girth. I like doing jack-o'-lanterns out of bigger pieces because you got more to work with. So the first thing we got to do with this log is turn it into a pumpkin. What I'm going to do is cue high speed If you got wood like this, it'd probably be best to sand it off so you can actually see your drawing. And now it's simple. Draw the face for which you want on your jack-o'-lantern. I kind of like the classic look. They're fun to carve. They're pretty easy triangle shapes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give this guy... Well, you guys might not be able to see it because this wood exterior still has a little bark on it. It's kind of being a pain in my butt. But we're going to give him the triangle scary eyes all right that slant in oh yeah there's my center line so i kind of got past it a little excited on this one let's back it up over here Put some scary eyes over here all right two triangles facing it right here all i'm gonna do is two lines sideways so a line this way and a line that way nothing on the bottom Don't do what I did. Don't take away too much here on the side you want to carve. Make this one kind of low so you have a little more meat of wood to work with. Um, what I do is draw an open mouth just under the nose. And keep in mind, you're going to be using your chainsaw to carve the teeth. To carve the teeth. So, you know, make your mouth good size. So I draw the mouth way down. General idea. I use that as my guide and start drawing my upper teeth and I'll draw the lower teeth. Nothing can touch. If your teeth touch, you're not going to be able to get the saw in there to carve. You don't have to stay right on the line you drew. I mean, I'm already drawn like way off it. Alright, so he's going to have like, uh, ah, there's a bee. There's a bee. Actually, he's a hornet. a hornet that's fun I'm a little allergic so yeah good times anyway looks like we're just gonna do uh, uh, four upper teeth and we'll end up with like three lower teeth all right 
So you guys can't really see it, but it's that normal, traditional jack-o'-lantern look. But the key is, is how to carve it. And it's really, really simple. It might seem daunting. You guys may think it's going to be a little tough, but really, it's not. It's not bad. Follow your lines. Best thing with jack-o'-lanterns, they don't have to be perfect. You know, they're these scary deals for Halloween. They don't have to be perfect. You do need your dime tip bar. And what I'm going to do is come across this way, do the lower section of my eyes, cut in, make my side cuts, and then just take material away that's on the inside. That simple. So let's go ahead and get these eyes done. I don't know how well you guys can see but it's kind of rough up around the eyes this is where the saber tooth bits will come in later to clean them up otherwise you could take your time with the dime tip bar and just slowly make passes and and cut it away now my eyes are about three quarters of an inch deep they're not just like a surface cut they're I cut them right in there so they'll have some overhang and like shadowing later on now we're gonna go ahead and do the nose which is basically just two lines one down to one side, one down to the other side. And they're basically going to be like a plunge cut with the saw. That's it. Just going to plunge the saw in and out. And depending on how deep you go is going to depend on how long or tall they are. Keep in mind, the farther your dime tip bar goes, the taller it gets. So, you know, cut accordingly. After that, we'll move on to cutting them teeth. <laughs> The nose is probably the simplest thing to do. So now we're going into the teeth, and you can see how the nose would look like a tooth? Same concept. Make cuts next to your teeth, and then go back through and remove the material in between each tooth. So the teeth are raised, and it's hollow in between them. Well guys, that's pretty much it for the saw work. Um, we got our eyes in there, we got our nose, and we got our teeth. I use the flame bit from Sabretooth a lot, and there is a reason. If you guys haven't noticed through all these videos, or maybe you're new to the channel, go watch all my videos. The flame bit by Sabretooth is very versatile. When you're looking at it, it's got that tapered look. It's kind of got a fat bottom with a good point. You can do eyes. You can do fingernails. You can get into all these spots and just clean this stuff up. 
it's really great on a multitude of carvings and so that is you know if you're gonna spend the money and buy a good bit right off the bat I suggest the uh, the flame bit jumperdownsabertooth.com or I will share links below they do come in the 1 8 shaft so they'll fit these uh, die grinders they also come in a uh, I'm sorry this is a quarter inch with a quarter inch shaft and they also come in a 1 8 shaft so they will fit in your Dremel tools for smaller carvings and cleaning stuff up this seems to be uh, really really versatile in all the carvings <laughs> see I got a photo bomber back there hey dude what are you doing I have a dust mask shield on and uh, let's get in there and just start cleaning everything up. It's time to take the angle grinder and just sand everything down. I gotta get all this dark stuff off, round any hard edges there from carving with the chainsaw and just clean it up really good with that angle grinder. is done I did take the torch just really quick and went over the mouth area real fast to get away and burn up any of the little fuzzies that were there I also took the torch and burned up the stem if you're looking at this guy I don't know if you guys can see but there's some dark spots it's spalting uh, these pumpkins I'm carving right now are out of poplar a tree that was pretty much dying but like really solid it's not punky and so it's got a lot of spalting in it so it's really cool I don't think I'm going to paint mine orange. If you want to paint yours orange, though, now's the time to do it. Burn your stem or paint it brown, and then shoot everything orange, let it dry, and then come through with a brush, some black paint, and paint up your eyes, nose, and mouth. Um, you can also paint these whatever color you want because this is your art. I'm just giving you an idea of you know how to go about making this. It's really, really easy stuff. Really good tip, though. When you're using your flame bit and you guys are getting in here, Clean this stuff up pretty good, like sand it out really good, and your painting experience will be that much better. Otherwise, painting is a huge pain in the butt when you got all these furry pieces or jagged stuff from the chainsaw sticking out. It just it kind of feels like a miniature nightmare trying to paint that stuff. So sand it out really good and uh, bust out your paint and you know paint it up. So kick this in high speed and get my paintwork done. All right, guys, so there you have it, our jack-o'-lantern chainsaw carved out of wood. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and there's something else I want to tell you. Add your own artistic ability to this, you know. Sand it down first, get a nice clean surface, draw your face on, and just, you know, copy this or do your own thing. You know, just take, take your own designs and just apply them to your own artwork. Also remember to sign the back. Put your initials or whatever your insignia is going to be in your carving so you can keep track and other people know it's your work. Also, if you guys are attempting these, I'd love to see what you got going on. Maybe we'll shoot a video later where I'll share your guys' work if you want. So if you share a picture with me, make sure you say it's okay to share. And uh, maybe I'll do a video with your photos of your work and your name and stuff. And people can see who else is learning from these videos and who's doing stuff. And those pictures can be, you know, these, bears, whatever you guys are carving. You can share those pictures through the Instagram account or the Facebook account that I have. Those links are down below. Those are my business accounts, and so you guys can contact me through there as well. I try to keep up on you know, answering questions and helping out the best that I can in between videos and customer orders, but I'll get back to you as soon as possible when you guys do that. Um, yeah, this was actually really fun, though. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with it. Please comment below what you guys would like to see for your next video share some ideas you know tell me what you guys want to see if i've done it i'll do it if i haven't done it i'll do it anyway and we can both laugh at it if it's garbage so i don't mind doing that so i really want to thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i'll see you later